Hello. In today's video, I am going to be demonstrating how to install the MailPile Mail client. Uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using the latest version of Zubuntu. However, you can install the MailPile Mail client on any Debian-based distribution, so that not only includes Debian, uh, but also Ubuntu, the spin-off, so Zubuntu, Lubuntu, uh, as well as the many other uh, Ubuntu-based distributions there within. So, uh, for the, also for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using the Firefox web browser, which comes with Zubuntu, as well as the XFCE terminal here, again, which comes with Zubuntu. However, you may use your web browser and, uh, and terminal of choice. Okay, so I'm going to begin by just going to the download page of MailPile uh, website and go to the Linux packages section here. Now, it provides us with some handy commands to use here. So I'm going to start by adding the repository. Uh, so this first command here provides us with all of the dependencies required for the MailPile mail client. So we can simply just copy and paste this into the terminal. It also uh, gets our apt get to be uh, fully updated as well. Uh, one of the main benefits of using the repository is that you get the most up-to-date version of the MailPile client along with your operating system updates. Okay, and the dependencies have been installed. Now, with the second command, this just makes sure that uh, the MailPile uh, packages are signed and authentic. So uh, we'll uh, just copy and paste that command in here. Uh, and we should just get an OK um, to affirm that. Now, we, ha uh, we have the third command, which adds the repository itself uh, to our package manager. However, uh, I am going to be making one adjustment to that command. So I'm going to paste the command as is right here. However, uh, underneath the command, you'll notice uh, that if you wish to use nightly builds instead of the release packages, you need to replace the word release with nightly. And that's what I'm going to do. So this allows me to demonstrate the most up-to-date version of the MailPile mail client. However, uh, depending on your use case, you may very well wish to uh, remain with the release uh, repository there. So where it says release here, I'm just going to add in the word nightly. So I'm going to replace the word re release with nightly. And there we go. So to make sure that's all gone through correctly, I'm just going to do a sudo apt update. Okay, so uh, all packages are up to date and we don't get any errors there. So, I'm going to now install the MailPile desktop client, so I can have a look at our uh, options for which to install in regards to the MailPile clients, just by going to apt search MailPile. So it provides us with three packages here from that search. Uh, we have MailPile itself, uh, which is uh, the command line interface for the MailPile client. We have the Apache 2, uh, which is if you wish to use it as a uh, web server there. Uh, and there's the MailPile desktop. Uh, I'm gonna be using the MailPile desktop package and that integrates with the, uh, well, with our desktop operating system. So I will do sudo apt install MailPile desktop. and Y to uh, confirm that this is what we want to do, as well as, of course, install the additional packages. Okay, and the installation has completed. Now to launch the MailPile client, it's as simple as going to the menu, uh, going to the internet category, and just clicking on MailPile. And then it just loads up uh, as you would expect. Now uh, we can uh, click the Get Started button to believe it or not, get started. So we uh, we begin by selecting our language. I'm just going to be selecting my language. Of course, select uh, the language that you would prefer to use MailPile in. Click Begin. And now uh, we have to choose our MailPile password. Uh, this makes sure that all of our sensitive information is protected. Uh, it comes with a suggest feature. So you can click on the suggest feature to generate a password or passphrase. Uh, so I'm just going to going to enter in mine. Uh, 
and then click set mail pile password. And I'm not going to choose to save the password. And now we can begin using mail pile. So I'll just enter my password in here. And this is where you'll enter your password when you decide to log into the MailPile client. And here we are. This is the opening screen for MailPile. I will explore this in future videos, uh, but this has just been a quick demonstration on how to install the MailPile mail client, specifically the desktop client, from the command line in Zubuntu. However, as I said previously, uh, this should also work in any Debian-based Linux distribution. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.